The latest approach to determining emission scenarios is known as Representative Concentration Pathways, RCPs. RCPs specify concentrations of greenhouse gases that will result in total radiative forcing increasing by a target amount by 2100 relative to pre-industrial levels, according to a report by the UK's Meteorological Office. Total radiative forcing is the difference between the amount of energy that enters the Earth's atmosphere and the amount of energy that leaves it. Currently, as we know, more energy is entering the planet than leaving because of the increased levels of greenhouse gases and aerosols. That's why we are witnessing global warming. Radiative forcing is measured in watts per square meter. There are four pathways, RCP 8.5, RCP 6, RCP 4.5 and RCP 2.6. The latter is also called RCP3PD, where PD stands for peak and decline. Emission scenarios, RCP all forcing agents, atmospheric CO2 equivalent concentrations, PPM. From the IPCC AR5 report, the numbers represent the expected change in radiative forcing from the year 1750 to 2100. So, RCP4.5 represents an increase of 4.5 watts per square meter of radiative forcing between 1750 and 2100. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, considers 1750 as the base year as it predates the Industrial Revolution and the radiative forcing was quite stable. Moreover, a higher value of forcing means more concentration of greenhouse gases and other pollutants, which in turn means higher global warming and a more pronounced impact of climate change. To determine forcings and pathways, scientists relied on the existing literature and synthesized values for a wide range of scientific and socio-economic data, like population growth, GDP, air pollution, land use and energy sources, according to a report by The Guardian. Notably, RCPs are neither forecasts nor policy recommendations. They are used to represent a broad range of climate outcomes. What are the different RCP warming levels? Let us start with RCP 2.6, which assumes an additional radiative forcing of just 2.6 watts per square meter by the end of the 21st century. This is the best case scenario, as the concentration of greenhouse gases is drastically reduced and the world takes stringent mitigation actions. RCP 2.6 is also known as RCP 3 PD, as emissions peak around 2050 and then decline. As a result, the global average temperature would increase by 1.6 degrees Celsius compared to pre-industrial levels. Emission scenarios. This figure shows both historical simulations and future projections in global average annual temperature from 1900 to 2100 under three emission scenarios. Historical simulations are for the period from 1900 to 2005. Projections are for the period from 2006 to 2100, based on three global emission scenarios. Low, RCP 2.6. Moderate, RCP 4.5. And high, RCP 8.5. RCP 4.5 and RCP 6 are intermediate scenarios, where in RCP 4.5, the global average temperature would increase by 2.4 degrees Celsius. In RCP6, it shot up to 2.8 degrees Celsius, above the pre-industrial levels. The worst case scenario is RCP8.5, where the concentration of greenhouse gases and other pollutants will be three times more than the present. In this case, the temperature would rise to 4.3 degrees Celsius by 2100.